My next guest, a talented young comedian making her first appearance on The Tonight Show. She can be seen at the Comedy Store right here in Los Angeles, July 17th through the 19th. Please welcome Tammy Pascatelli. <laughs> So, Pescatelli, that's Sicilian. My family's from the old country, Brooklyn. I, don't know. I know, and not all Sicilians are in the mob, okay? Some are in the Witness Protection Program. Some are dead, whatever. Now, my grandfather, he used to be in the mob. Now he's retired. He gets a little mob pension. Once a month, a truck drives by in a VCR and some dresses fall off. It's so cute. He just doesn't understand the show business thing. Like, I filmed this television show. I was so proud of myself. Out of respect. First call, I was so proud. I was like, Papa, I shot a pilot. He goes, oh, my God, don't say that over the phone. <laughs> it was terrible. I kept trying. I still tried. I was like, Papa, no, a TV pilot. He goes, I don't care what airline he works for. <laughs> You call me back from a payphone. I ain't going down because you get sloppy. It is what it is. That's my family, though. They're crazy. There's my grandfather, then there's my dumb cousin. No, she's not even dumb. She's damn dumb. You just look at her and go, damn. You're dumb, really. She's like, she's so funny because she couldn't even spell CNN before the war started. <laughs> now she's like a war co correspondent. She watches all the news and tries to tell me about it, but she can't get the story straight. I call it news from abroad. Because <laughs> she, uh, you know, she has no idea what she's talking about. She thinks Al-Qaeda is a guy from our neighborhood, you know? <laughs> Ask her who attacked the World Trade Center, she'll tell you, Oksana Bayul. Yeah. yeah, the Ukrainian Olympian, that's who it is. But she's married with kids and me, like, I can't even flirt. I flirt like Joey from Friends. How you doing? You know what I mean? I don't have that. Oh, what are you supposed to talk about? The weather? And the weather's messed up. Every, I was in the Midwest. On a Tuesday, it was 72 degrees. By Saturday, it was 4. But the weatherman was just like... He, you know, he was like, back to you, Bob. I have no idea. <laughs> They're it's, it's nice in the Midwest. They're nice people, but they have smells you're never supposed to smell. <laughs> I never smelled a cow. I got out of the car. I said to this farmer, that cow stinks. <laughs> he said, the farmers, that manure smell, it smells like money. I go, maybe you should move your wallet to the front of your pants. <laughs> Money is not supposed to smell like that. I saw Amish people this year for the first time. You know Amish people? Our version of the Taliban. They're not watching. They, uh, they, they're not allowed to use electricity, right? You know that? But they're allowed to use rollerblades. Yeah, because it's a non-mechanized mode of transportation. But no one tells you. And one day I'm just driving through Amishville, minding my own business. I see this little Amish girl on her rollerblades going like this. <laughs> Only I can't tell she's on rollerblades. Because she's got that long little house on the prairie skirt on. <laughs> so it looks like she's flying right at me. about you, but I saw children of the corn, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Have a seat. Very funny. Good job. Thank you. Now, I understand you just got back. Did you, what did you do? A USO tour? Yeah, went to Kuwait and oh, to Baghdad. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, it was nice. I got the call. You've done those. And yeah, yeah. They, uh, I got the call, and they said, do you want to go entertain the troops? And I said, sure. And they go, okay, you're going to leave for Baghdad on Tuesday. <laughs> I go, don't we got any troops in Maui? Because <laughs> it's really nice over there. 
I was, when I was there, that's when the president issued that uh, fifteen million dollar bounty on um, Saddam Hussein. Right. I was like Sacagawea with MapQuest. <laughs> where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I was looking for him everywhere. Now, do you find the Middle Eastern culture interesting? Is it? Did you? You know, everywhere you go, there's something new. But like in the Middle East, they broadcast their prayers from the mosques five right. times a day. And I don't know a lot about praying because I'm Catholic. You know. <laughs> I pay a guy to do it for me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> but everywhere you, you go. You pay a guy to do it yeah, for you, you know, really. 20 bucks in the plate, it's a get out of hell free card. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. you need. <laughs> it's, it's funny, from everywhere I go, I'm amazed by things. Like in the Midwest, yeah. I had never smelled a cow before. I'd never seen a cow. Well, you know, I'd seen one on TV, right. but I'd seen a dragon on TV, too. I had no idea the way they smelled. And I said to the farm, I go, that cow stinks. And he goes, yeah, but that's not cow, that's pig manure. I go, hey, anytime you know the difference between your caca smells, yeah. me and you are never going to be friends, you know no, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> in the South, it's nice. Yeah. South is South nice. is lovely, lovely yeah. in the South. Yeah. Hillbillies scare me. The, hill, the hillbillies I'm talking, when I say hillbillies, I mean right. four teeth for the whole family. You yeah, know right, that? yeah. And people say, what about in the city, a gang member? Okay, well, a gang member may kill you, but a hillbilly will keep you. You know? Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's, like in a box. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure which is worse. Now, so you're, are you 100 percent Sicilian? Or I both am. your parents? Yeah. I am. Yeah. yeah. You know, and everybody comes up to, oh, you should be on The Sopranos. Oh, thanks. I never thought of that one. You know? <laughs> right, really? <laughs> so, but it's. Thank God you're here to guide me. It's a. I don't know. It, it's for me. It's like in Italian people. You have half Italian. I'm right? half Italian. Napolitan. I'm they got a, they got so upset over Sopranos because they yeah. said it wasn't a true representation of our people in America. And I go, yeah, because they don't hit their kids nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Very funny. Tammy, good job. Thank good you job. So much. Come see us again. All right, Tammy Pascatelli. Nice job. Be right back with Amy Mann right after this. Yeah.